So broadly speaking, my work applies the growing field of network science to understanding how cities work. A large part of this work really focuses on issues of public safety, crime, violence, and neighborhood health. We apply these sort of ideas from network science to really try to understand gun violence in American cities. I think my connection to sort of issues around gun violence and neighborhoods really just comes from growing up in Chicago during the late 80s and early 90s when the gun and homicide problem in the city was even higher than it's been in recent years. And my family was the victim of gang violence and my family was also very active in community organizing. And so I was always sort of surrounded both by experiences of gun violence, but also seeing people rally around these issues and to try to make their communities better. One of the main things that my research group does is we take lots of sources of data from law enforcement or public health or public safety, and we create these models to try to understand, number one, who's at risk, uh, number two, why they're at risk, and to try to see if we can figure out potentially how these things spread. So by creating these sort of network maps, it can help you be more precise with where you put your resources. If we only have so many jobs or so many trauma care specialists or so many educational resources, how do we get those to the people who need them most?